I'm a young married man and I'm near broken hearted For me wife she's left me and she's gone away We had a misfortune and she and I parted I'll tell you what happened to her the other day Now women is weak, they should mind their possessions And the more I think on it, mad me do send For she's run away with a German musician Who goes around crying pianos to men Oh father, oh father, oh father and laddie For all kinds of tunes and things he could play And there's many a good tune played on an old fiddle And this to my wife that old German did say now it happened one morning, this German musician, well he come through our streets crying pianos to mend, and my wife's piano been out of condition, straightway the boy for that old German did send. So he come to the door and he knocked most politely, said he ma'am it's here that you're needing repairs. She looked him well over and seemed most delighted, all right, says my wife will you please come upstairs. So she took him upstairs and showed him her piano, and with that old charm and seemed greatly amused. But when he had seen it, he said to my Hannah, I think, ma'am, your music's not very much used. But he touched it, he handled it over and under, both as sharp as a needle and light as a cork, with all kinds of tools, and he pulled it asunder, and he rattled away with his old tuning fork. Now, when I come home, my wife told me the story, and she said that old charman had been there all day, and he tried very hard for to mend the piano, but do what she might, wouldn't take any pay. Well, I thought it was strange when she told me the story, and I said that old charman was ever so kind. But would you believe that that old German sausage, before going away, left a straight mark behind? So I swore and I tore at me darling wife Hannah, both with rage and with pain I'm sure no one can tell. And I told her to hook it and to take a piano, and likewise to take that old German as well. So it's come all you young men, pay heed to me story, cause all women wants is to handle your pelf. And if ever your wife's old piano wants to tune in, just take my advice, boys, and tune it yourself. As I walked over London Bridge, one misty morning early, there I overheard some fair lady lamenting for her Georgie. Oh, pray, can you send me some little boy Who can go an errand swiftly Who can go ten mile in one hour With an errand for a lady Come saddle to me, my best black horse Come saddle him right swiftly that I may ride to the king's castle go With an errand for a lady And when she had come to the king's castle door The prisoners they stood many And they all stood with their hats in their hands Except in a bonny bonny Georgie Oh, my Georgie never stole no cow nor horse he never murdered any, but he stole sixteen of the king's fat deer, which grieved me most of any. And six pretty babies I've had to him, the seventh lies in my bosom. I would freely part with them every one, for to save the life of me Georgie. And the judge, he looked over his left shoulder. He seemed so very hard-hearted, saying, pretty fair lady, you've come too late, for your George is condemned already.
Oh, my Georgie will be hanged in the chains of gold. Such gold as never hanged many, because he come of the royal blood, and he courted a very rich lady. Oh, my Georgie will be hanged in the chains of gold, such gold as there isn't much of any, and on his grave these words will be wrote, Here lies the heart of a lady. A fine young man it was indeed, he come mounted on his milk-white steed. He rode and he rode himself all alone until he come to lovely Joan. A good morning to you, my pretty fair maid, and it's twice good morning, sir, she said. He gave her the wink and she rolled it a I says him to himself, well, I'll be there by and by. Well, don't you think that these poops of hay are a pretty little place for us to play? So come with me, my pretty young thing, and I will give to you this golden ring. Then he pulled off this ring of gold, saying, Pretty little miss, do this behold. I'd freely give it for your maiden head, and the cheeks I blushed like the roses red. It's give me that ring all into my hand, and I will neither stay nor stand. For that golden ring, it is worth to me much more than twenty maiden heads, said she. But as he made for the pooks of hay, she jumped upon his horse and she tore away. He cursed and he swore, but it was all in vain, young Joan, she never looked back again. And she didn't think herself quite safe until she had come to her father's gate. She'd robbed him of his horse and his ring and left him to rage in the meadows green. On the 14th of February we sailed from the land. On the bold Princess Royal bound for Newfoundland, we had fought the brave seamen in the ship's company, and boldly from Yarmouth to the westward steered we. Now we had not been sailing past days two or three, when the lookout at our foremast strange sail said, did say, that come a bearing down on us. For to see what we were, and under his mizzen black colours he wore. Oh, Lord, cried our captain, what shall us do now? For here comes a bold pirate to rob us, I know. Oh, no, cried our first mate, that shall not be so. We will let out our reef boys, and away from him go. But then this bold pirate he hove alongside, With a loud speaking trumpet once came you, he cried, Now our captain being up me boys, he answered him so, We come from old Yarmouth and we're bound for Peru. So it's let out your courses and bring your ship to, for I have a long letter for to send there by you. Oh no, cried our first mate, that will not be so. That'll be in some old harbour, not alongside of you. So he chased us to the windward most of that live long day. And he chased us to the westward, but he couldn't make no way. And he fired shots all after us, but none did prevail, and the bold princess royal soon showed him her tail. Oh, good Lord, cried our captain, that old pirate he is gone. Go ye down to your grog, boys, go ye down, everyone. Go ye down to your grog, me boys, and be of good cheer. 
While the bold princess a serum brave boys never fear. Come all ye young fellows, let's handle the gun. I will have you go home by the light of the sun. For young Gemma was a foul and was a foul and all alone. And he shot his own true love in the room of a swan. When first he went up to her and found it was she, he was shaking and a trembling, his eyes scarce could see. Well, now you are dead, love, and your sorrows they are all. Fare the well, my dear Polly, I will see you no more. Then home went young Gemma with his dog and his gun, crying, Uncle, dear Uncle, have you heard what I've done? Oh, cursed be that old gunsmith who made my own gun, for I've shot my own true love in the room of a swan. Then out come bold uncle with his locks hanging grey, saying, Jim, a dear Jim, a don't you run away, don't you leave your own country till your trial it do come on, for they never will hang you for the crime you have done. While the trial did come on, pretty Polly did appear, Cried uncle, dearest uncle, let Jim go clear. For me apron was wrapped round me when it took me for a swan. And his poor heart lay bleeding for Polly his own. Polly his own. Come, you dearest, come, you fairest, come, tell unto me. Could you marry a poor sailor boy who's just come from sea? I can't marry no poor sailor, no poor sailor for me. For to cross the wide ocean is a terror to me. And your ragged love and your dirty love and your clothes, they smell of tar. So be gone, you saucy sailor boy, so be gone, you jack tar. I may be ragged, love, I may be dirty, love, and me clothes, they smell of tar. But I've got silver in me pockets and gold in great store. When she heard these words come from him, down on bended knee she fell, saying I'll marry my dear sailor boy, cause I loves him right well. Do you think that I am foolish, love? Do you think that I am mad? For to marry with some poor country girl, when her fortune's to be had. I will cross the briny ocean, when the meadows they are green. Since you have had the offer, love, another may have the ring. For I'm young, love, and I'm frolicsome. I am easy and I'm free. And I don't give a straw, love, what the world may think of me. In Yarmouth town there lived a man, he kept a tavern by the sand. This landlord had a daughter fair, a plump little thing with the golden hair. Well, won't you come down, won't you come down, won't you come down to Yarmouth town? Now to this tavern come a sailor man, and he asked the daughter for a hand. Why should I marry you, she said, I get all I want without being wed. Well, won't you come down, won't you come down? Won't you come down to Yarmouth Town? But she said, if you want with me to linger, 
I'll tie a bit of string all around me finger As you pass by, just pull that string And I'll come down and I'll let you in Well, won't you come down, won't you come down Won't you come down to Yarmouth town So at closing time, the sailor man He went to the tavern by the sand And then he went and pulled that string And she come down and she let Jack in Well, won't you come down, won't you come down Won't you come down to Yarmouth town And he'd never seen such a sight before Cause the string round her finger were all she wore And when he went and pulled that string She pulled back the sheets and she let him in Well, won't you come down, won't you come down Won't you come down to Yarmouth town Now the sailor stayed the whole night through And early in the morning went back to his crew Where he told them all about that maiden fair The plump little thing with the golden hair Well, won't you come down, won't you come down Won't you come down to Yarmouth town And the story that soon got around And the very next night in Yarmouth town there was fifteen sailors a pulling on a string And she come down and she let them all in Well, won't you come down, won't you come down Won't you come down to Yarmouth town Now all young men want to Yarmouth to go See a plump little thing with the hair hanging low Well, all you got to do is pull that string And she'll come down and she'll let you all in Well, won't you come down, won't you come down Won't you come down to Yarmouth town Boy, won't you come down, oh, won't you come down Won't you come down to Yarmouth town One morning in the month of June Down by a rolling river There a jolly sailor he chanced to stray Where he beheld some lover Her cheeks were red, her eyes were brown And her hair in wrinkles was hanging down And a lovely brow without a frown Just as the tide was a-flowing Good morn to you, my pretty fair maid How come you here so early? My heart by you it is betrayed And I might love you dearly For I am a sailor come from sea and if you'll accept of me company For to walk and watch the fishes play Just as the tide was the flowing No more they did say but on their way They both did go together The small birds sung and the lambs did play How pleasant was the weather then feeling weary, the bow sat down, all beneath a tree with the branches around. And what was said shall never be known, just as the tide was a flowing. Then on the grass this young girl did roll, and the colour it kept changing. And this pretty maid called out, alas, don't let your mind be arranging. Then she gave him twenty pound in store, saying, meet me when you will have more. For a jolly sailor I adore, just as the tide was a-flowing. So they kissed shook hands and then did part Jack tar drunk rum and brandy And to keep me shipmates in good cheer That lady's gold come in handy And with some other young gal you'll go To the public bar where the brandy flow Give me the lad that will do so Just as the tide was a-flowing I never really fell in love Till I went up to Fagenham Fair And I chanced for to meet With a carnival girl A selling of chances there 
A try for a lamp or a Spanish shawl or a golden filigree. But all the while her eyes were saying, No, oh, come take a chance on me. So swing around the merry-go-round, give the wheel of fortune a whirl. For the finest prize at fake and unfair is a pretty carnival girl. Her eyes were blue, her hair it was brown, and her lips they were soft and red. And a ship like hers I had never seen, and me eyes will they pop from me head. But I was young and innocent, but still even I could see that the way she laughed and she winked my way, it said, come take a chance on me. So swing around that old merry-go-round, give the wheel of fortune a whirl. The finest prize at fake and unfair is a pretty carnival girl. The old folks said she ain't for you, boy, oh, what will the old people think? But I took my chance and I won that girl just as quick as an eye could wink. And the very best day in all my life, whatever come to pass, was the day that I went up to fake and am fair and I won me a carnival lass. So swing around that old merry-go-round, give the wheel of fortune a whirl. The finest prize at fake and unfair is a pretty carnival girl. We had not been sailing but four frosty nights, but four frosty nights and five days. When there we espied a lofty tall ship, Come a bearing down on us, brave boys. Hello and hello, you lofty tall ship, What makes you to sail some night? I'm a rich merchant ship bound for London town. Won't you please pull to and let me pass by? Oh no, and oh no, you lofty tall ship, Such a thing, well, it never won't be, For I am turn robber all on the salt sea, For to maintain my two brothers and I. So it's let out your courses and let go of your main sheet And bring your ship under my lee And I will take from you your rich merchant's good merchant's goods And point your bow guns to the sea I won't let out my courses nor let go of my main sheets now bring my ship under your lee, and you shan't have from me my rich merchant's good merchant's goods. Now point my bow guns to the sea. So with broadside and broadside these vessels did lay for fully two hours or more. Until Henry Martin gave him the death shot And she sunk and she never rose more Bad news I've to tell you, bad news I've to tell Bad news I'm a-going to tell Of a lofty tall ship and she's passed away and the most of her mariners drowned. Mariners drowned. Well, now you've called on me to sing, I'll see what I can do. And when that I've finished it, I'll call on one of you. Well, now you've called on me to sing, I'll see what I can do. And when that I have finished it, I'll call on one of you, I'll call on one of you. Now the first time I went a-courtin', well, I'll tell you the reason why. 
It was to a jolly old cook, because my wants she did supply. She fed me on the best roast beef and plenty of mince pies. And when that I was hunger, and my wants she did supply. My wants she did supply. So one day I went to see her, and she asked me in to tea. She said, the missus and master's out, we'll have a jolly spree. So I went into the parlour, my own true love to please. And into one pocket she ran some butter, and into the other some cheese, and into the other some cheese. Now after supper was over, and I could eat no more, oh Lord, to my surprise, when a knock come at the door. So I looked around for a place to hide, but that I did not know. So it's up the old chimney I did creep, as black as any old crow, as black as any old crow. Now the fire, it being rather warm, it began to scorch my knees. Likewise to melt my butter and likewise to toast my cheese. And every drop dropped in the fire, a terrible place was there. And the master swore in his poor old heart that the devil himself was there. That the devil himself was there. So it's way up on the roof he climbed for to drive old Harry out. He began to pour cold water down what put me to a rout. And it's down the old chimney I did creep and into the streets did crawl. I was forced to ramble as fast as I could with me butter and cheese and all. With me butter and cheese and all. Now some they said it was the devil and him they very well know. But some they just said it was Harry myself though I was as black as a crow. The dogs did bark, the children screamed out, brush the old women all. And then they begun to blubber it out, you got butter and cheese and all, you got butter and cheese and all. Oh, don't you see on little turtle dove sitting under the mulberry tree? And a man can mourn for his own true love, as I shall mourn for thee, my dear, as I shall mourn for thee. Though you must suffer grief and pain, tis but for a little while, and wherever I go I will return. Though I go ten thousand mile, my dear, Though I go ten thousand mile, Ten thousand mile it is too far To leave me all alone, While I must lie, lament and cry, And you'll not hear my moan, my dear, And you'll not hear my moan. Well, the tide it shall cease to beat the shore, and stars shall fall from the sky. Yet I will love thee more and more until the day I die, my dear, until the day I die. Then let the seas run dry, my dear, and rocks all melt in the sun. Yet here I'll stay and never from thee part Till all these things be done, my dear Till all these things be done Oh, don't you see on little turtle dove Sitting under the mulberry tree A making mourn for his own true love as I shall mourn for thee, my dear, as I shall mourn for thee.